Scripps National Spelling Bee has become a phenomenon. The inspiration for an Academy Award winning documentary, several novels, and even a Broadway musical. What is it that we find so compelling? Without question, it's the kids. Each child, already a champion, brings their own style to the bee. Styles that range from methodical to the occasionally bizarre. Yet for the first time in the 80 year history of the bee, two students from the same New York City Middle School have qualified for the Nationals. The road to the spelling bee started when my teacher announced that um, in a week we'd be having a class spelling bee. And I just thought about it. I thought it'd be cool to see um, how I did. But I didn't do any formal studying yet because I didn't really, I, I didn't say that I wasn't going to win, but I didn't really have any expectations. One day my teacher said, okay, um, everyone sit around the tables and stand up because we're having a spelling bee. So it was kind of like, oh, okay, this will be fun. Like, I didn't really think it was the kind of thing that could go farther than that. Yet go farther they have. In fact, winning the New York leg of the competition has led to a small measure of celebrity. It was amazing. People didn't know yet. Oh, actually, they didn't know. It was announced um, in school, and everybody was congratulating me. It, it was great. There's been, like, two strangers who recognized me on, like, the city bus or whatever. Like, this guy was just like, excuse me, are you the girl who won the spelling bee? Really? Game? Yeah. It was interesting. Now Paul and Adrian will take their talents to the nation's capital, where the words will become tougher, the scrutiny becomes more intense, and where the pressure can be, well, downright overwhelming. A lot of coin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I want you to test me on some words. Just take a look at this. Pick out one of those words. I'm going to put my glasses on so at least I could look smarter. Psoriasis. S-O-R-I-A-C-I-S. Psoriasis. Uh, no, it's, it's not correct. It begins with a P. Autochthonous. What language is that? See if we go maybe just one notch below. Where, where so you have start. a chance of getting yeah, it right? Yes, so I have a chance of getting it right, correct. Autochthonous? Yeah. O T T O T. You're already shaking your head. I'm like <laughs> one eighth of the way through that word. And while these cherub face spellers look sweet, this is a highly competitive environment. And like all high state contests, there are prohibitive favorites. Samir Patel, known throughout the spelling world as the five-year repeater, is back in D.C. and hungry for a title. Having finished third and fourth in previous trips to the National Bees, Paul and Adrian know that the road to the cup goes through Samir country. He's known as the repeater, isn't he? Yes, the five-year repeater. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> you got to take him down. I don't really feel I want to take him down. I mean, I think that he's returned five times and that he, he deserves, if, if, if he's good enough, I think he deserves to win. But you wouldn't mind taking him down? No, I wouldn't mind taking yeah, him down. I figured as much. The dreaded elimination bell awaits for all but one speller. But for the champion, months of hard work will pay off with the sweetest of spelling rewards, and a prize worth over $42,000. It'd just be a, a, an achievement to be pr proud of forever, and you can say it, and it's not just, um, it doesn't just mean that you're the best dog in the world, it means that you are very dedicated and you uh, spend a lot of time on studying, and then you really committed to something. That would be probably like pretty amazing, like the thing I'm most proud of of like my entire life, so if that were to happen, that would be probably pretty great. Pretty great indeed, make no mistake about it. Paul and Adrian want to take home the hardware, the Stanley Cup of Spelling, and add their names to the illustrious list of champions, Tompi, Budiga, Kashyap, and of course, Sealfon. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> and! Why? <laughs> and you That is correct. Reporting on the Scripps National Spelling Bee, Chris Cotter, SNY.